Hi. Um, today we're going to have a quick overview of the AutoCAD autosave command. Now when this command is enabled, it will automatically save your current drawing uh, to a temporary file. Um, this means that you've always got a backup copy of your current drawing. So if the worst happens, there is always something to go back to. Uh, just in case your DWG file gets corrupted, lost, or something horrible happens to it, basically. Now, to actually enable the autosave file and to actually set the time interval up uh, between automatic saves, we go to the little red A icon up at the top left-hand side of the screen in AutoCAD. And we select Options down at the bottom right of the drop-down menu. We go to the Open and Save tab, which just happens to be the one I've got uh, current. We make sure that the automatic save option is ticked. I'm going to change my time interval to uh, 10 minutes between saves. I'm also going to make sure that we've got a backup copy um, with each save. So we just make sure the create backup copy is switched on with a tick in the box there. That backup copy will create a BAK file. So that's the same name as your drawing file and the same location as your drawing file it'll have a .bak extension. Now if you ever want to use that file um, you can rename it to .dwg from bak and it will open up directly in AutoCAD. So once we've got that set let's just have a look at um, where the drawing file or where the autosave file is actually stored. If we go to files, automatic save file location, just expand that out here we can see it's saved uh, to users, admin, app data, local, and temp. Admin being the username of this machine that I'm using to log on with. If I want to change that, just go to browse. And then we can browse to, say, our C drive. And we can go and select a folder in here to make the, the automatic save file a bit more accessible. Um, rather than having it buried underneath our user profile. Um, the user profile that we've got there, um, that's the default you'll find in Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Um, in Windows XP, it'll be under Documents and Settings. Uh, but the path is very similar. OK, if I just press Apply and OK, that should save the changes. So now, um, my current drawing will automatically save every um, 10 minutes. Now there are a couple of different ways of um, restoring an autosave um, file. Um, probably the easiest is to use the Drawing, drawing File Recovery Manager. Um, if I go and have a look at the file menu and then select um, Drawing Utilities, we've got Drawing Recovery Manager. If you just open that up, it opens up a panel or a palette. Um, in this case, it's on the, my left hand side of the screen, but you can drag it around like an Easter, sort of standard AutoCAD palette. Let's just keep it docked to the side just now. Um, it's listing the original DWG file, the back file, but also the SV dollar file, which is the autosave file. Now, if I click on it, it gives me um, a little summary um, of the details, where it's actually located, uh, last saved, size, and also a preview of the drawing file. If I double click on the file, it will actually open it up inside AutoCAD. Uh, and then what you can do is go to File, save as, and then save it under the appropriate name. Okay. Now the manual method of um, restoring the autosave file is to go and browse for the file uh, yourself. Now if I just uh, minimize AutoCAD 
and um, let's go and browse to my C drive. And we'll go to um, users as this is Windows 7. And go to my um, the folder that represents my username, admin. And then we've got a folder called app data. Now notice how app data is actually um, slightly grayed out. Um, so the icon is paler. That means it's a, a hidden system file. So you must make sure that you actually um, switch on your hidden system files uh, and folders. Uh, so you can actually see it. Now to do that in Windows 7 you just go up to Tools, Folder Options, um, View, uh, and just make sure that you've got Show Hidden Files and Folders switched on. We just click OK on that. Once you've got App Data, double click on it. It's the Local Folder, then you've got Temp. And if we just um, Make sure we've got it ordered by date. Uh, and then we can actually see the file that we're looking for. In this case, it's called training DARW 2010. Uh, and then we've got a code on, um, at the end of it. Most importantly, we've got the SV dollar. You can see the file is uh, 204 kilobytes. If I just copy that, right click, copy. Let's just put it onto my desktop, paste, minimize it, and then what we'll do now is just rename the file to so .dwg, and double click on it. That file will now open inside AutoCAD. That's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.